YouTubers of all time. And his name is called Sean Tucker. And in this video, it's called Protect Your Highlights. I will link it down below. It's a very interesting video that I recommend you go watch. He talks about, at least in the beginning of this video, he talks about that when things are getting too much and he needs some time alone, or time to clear his mind, he will go out with his camera for a walk to take photos. And this really helps him to clear his mind. And this got me thinking, because this is not something that just we can do, you know, as with photographers. This is an exercise that everybody can do. The cameras in a smartphone are more than capable enough to take decent photos. The quality is as good as the pocket cameras we all used to own back in, I don't know, 2008, 2010. And what that really means is that we can just use our smartphone for this exercise, something we have on us literally every day. You don't have to buy a separate camera. Of course you can, but it's not necessary. And let me be very clear that this is not an exercise of good photography. This is an exercise of being in the present moment, which is something we're all struggling with nowadays. And that really is a problem because studies time after time show that we are the very happiest when we are in the present moment. Studies also say that if we analyze our problems and causes of stress, we are surprised to find that 90% of our causes of stress is due to overanalyzing either the past or worrying about the future. And therefore it's super important to have a present moment exercise. Many people meditate and some people do yoga, but I argue that photography is also a very great exercise to be in the present moment. And therefore it's super important to have a present moment exercise. Many people meditate and some do yoga, but I argue that photography can also be a great being in the present moment exercise. To go outside in fresh air and calmly look around for scenes to frame up. It's not only a good exercise for your mental health, it's also a great exercise for your physical health. And like I said earlier in this video, is that this is not an exercise of good photography. You shouldn't worry about, is this a good photo or is this a bad photo? Of course you can watch some videos on YouTube on like composition, the rules of thirds and you know, videos about good light and stuff. But you don't have to post every photo on social media. Like I would recommend you don't. Because especially in 2022, the state of social media is pretty bad for photographers. Photos are really not getting seen. Short form video content is the only way to go apparently. And therefore, you know, you might not want to put the weight of social media on your shoulders, especially when you're burned out or when things are getting too much already. <coughs> But what this will do, especially if you do this exercise, you know, for a fair amount of time, it will help you to appreciate the world a lot better. It will help you to appreciate a sunrise a lot better than before or a sunset. And that's very that's something that's very cool about photography, that you just see a lot more details about the world that you didn't see previously. It may also help you to clear your mind in times when your mind is not so clear. And therefore I encourage you to Give this exercise a shot the next time things are a little bit darker than usual. I really hope it helps. Thanks for watching.